as a way of ensuring that the Department of Education listens to your pleas, we have taken substantial steps to address some, if not all, of your concerns. One of the common grievances raised by you during our school visits is the burden of administrative tasks. We understand the importance of allowing you to focus on your core task of teaching. Therefore, we are preparing the interim guidelines that will significantly and immediately reduce your administrative workload. This will free up your time and energy, <laughs> enabling you to fully focus on the education and development of your students. Ma kuhaan ang inyong administrative tasks. We started with in the inventory, kung pila ang administrative tasks, and we found pila 50, 50 administrative tasks that is not related sa trabaho sa isang ka magtutudlo. And sige kung pangutana sa ilaha dito mo sa day, basihan ninyo anong sige ninyo pagsugo sa mga maistra. Ana, tanan sugo, isugo sa maistra. Pati magluto, magdiworm, magtanong mo gulay, maistra pa buhat nun. What's day? Basihan ninyo, ana. Dito sa Sengkali Office, mga ma'am, sir. Unsa din niyong basihan, anak. And somehow we found na ang uban, wala gay basihan yun. Buhat-buhat lang yun na papel. Anak, isugot dito, isugot dito, isugot dito. Without thinking, ha? unsaan pag-implement, anak, dito, on the ground. Ana. So, and we reduced it to how many? Ten. From 50 to Ten. Those with legal basis only. Another concern is the need for adequate rest and rejuvenation. Teachers play a pivotal role in shaping the future of our nation, and it is essential that you will have the time to take care of your well-being. In response, we have incorporated the days of the end of school year rights in the official school calendar, Additionally, we have ensured that this year's school calendar includes a well-deserved 30 consecutive days free of any DepEd activities that require volunteer work. This uninterrupted rest period will allow you to recharge, ensuring that you can effectively carry out your duties as educators. So, pagkahuman sa end of school year rights, you have 30 days of uninterrupted rest without volunteer work. Ano po, dugay kay namugilas lisan dito sa central office. Muna nga, hindi na gani ko ganahan mag dito. No, muna mag na lang kung magsigig at mga eskwilahan. Dugay kay may naglalis, ano ba? Kay mo ingong kung ano, unsay, unsay, inyuhang basihan nga nun dili mo muhatag o rest break nga huwag yung makatubag duha ka bulan balik-balik may balik-balik kung wala yung makatubag magsige ko ipasulat na ko ang department order dito sa ilaha pagbalik di kaya po mao nga pasulat na po na ko dito balik ibalik na dito sa ilaha ipasulat na kung say gusto na ito ipasulat di kaya po nila ibalik Nga kung unsa ang gusto nga may tabo. Matuka sa kaadlaw, ingong ko sa isa kaabogado dito sa central office, ingong ko lingkuran, tagot ni, kaabogado man ka, diba? Siya o, oh. kaabogado man po ko, duhaman ta kaabogado diri, lingkuran ta ni, tanaw na to. Sige, ihap-ihap na mo, si Himig, ana-ana, o kalendaryo, o unsa may ingon sa balaod, o kani, o unsa may ingon sa balaod, kani, kani. Huwag ka man, isa kaadlaw lang, nabuhat na mo, 30 days, wala yung buhat ng mga maestra. <laughs> Nahagot, nagyugoan, ni trabaho ni ba? Yeah. 
kada makitan ko sa mga tiga Dabo, mga amigo na ko sa Dabo, pag muli ko dito, kung mga anak ko, hago, nagyaguan ni pakiglalis, gani. It's, it's going against the bureaucracy ba? Ay, mga gato ko dito, mga anak gina, sila pirmin sa kuham, Main, mindset lang na, mindset day. Ayaw ka goal, kaya na ni mo, mindset rag yun. Mindset day. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. So, ang tanan volunteer work comes after your break and you can still earn uh, service credits on top of your 30 days na break. Hmm? Okay. Ang next na mong pakiglalis, balik-balik, balik-balik, ang GSIS. Nama sila, Diri? Si SISG? Ah, diri. diri lang dahil kumatanaw na dahil sila, Diri. In order to address the issues that you ha- have surrounding the government service insurance system, we have been actively engaging with them to find solutions. As a result, we have signed a memorandum of agreement with GSIS guaranteeing a dedicated and exclusive lane for teachers in all branches. We have also s- established a specialized team within said agency to handle teachers' concerns, ensuring that your needs are given the special attention and support they deserve. Tingnan na mo sila, more than half of your members are DepEd personnel. So dapat doon na mo dedicated team para sa DepEd. And they, may na lang, they agreed. To show our commitments of taking good care of you, we have procured a personal accident insurance through the GSIS to provide coverage for all teachers and the Department of Education personnel. This insurance covers up to 100,000 for accidental death or dismemberment and up to 30,000 per year for medical reimbursement due to injuries sustained in accidents. It is important to note that this policy covers accidents both here and abroad, whether work-related or not. So you have this insurance, Dagan Salamat, GSIS. And we are also, as of today, October 5, 2023, the personal accident insurance policy is already active. Simbako. Ayaw lang unta mo mga disgrasya. And all teachers and DepEd personnel are covered. In addition to all those that I have mentioned, we have with us today GSIS officials ready to answer any inquiries or concerns that you may have. This is just the beginning as we are continuously working with GSIS to develop Kininindot ni. Sige, may o ko ang palo up ani sa ilaha. Supplemental health insurance cover on top of PhilHealth. Ensuring comprehensive support for your health needs. Recognizing the need for teachers to have sound legal advice, especially when it comes to loan contracts, we are working on a website that will provide legal aid and advice especially on reviews of contracts that you enter into for loans. This will help ensure that you will no longer fall prey to financial frauds. In our commitment to transparency and fairness, isa pa ni, dugay na kaayon ni na mo o balik-balik dito. The Department of Education is developing an automated system for objective selection in the hiring and promotion of teachers. We believe that meritocracy should be the guiding principle in building our education workforce 
and we are taking concrete steps to ensure a fair and equitable process. On this World Teachers' Day, we are coming together to express our gratitude and admiration for you, our teachers. We celebrate the lives you touch, the minds you shape, and the futures you mold. You are the unsung heroes, the guardians of knowledge, and the catalysts for change.